Hello everyone. In this tutorial we'll be covering the setup uh, to get our uh, IK system to work and um, basically showing you how to get this thing started and how to get a similar looking thing as I did in the intro video. Here we go. Um, all I did right now was open up a blank third person setup. So this is just like normal. Name it whatever you want and let's begin. So first things first, uh, in the third person thing I don't really like how floaty his jump is and also how fast he runs around. I want him to walk um, in this one here so we're going to edit a couple things. Uh, so the first one that we're going to do is uh, just go ahead and open up the third person character we're going to go to the character movement here and set the gravity skill to about 1.7 that's so that he is less floaty you can see it when I press the play oh. well you can see it when I press here now it's a little bit it's a little more realistic and then we're also going to set the walking speed, if you go to character movement again, down to 200. And since we're not crouching, we're going to leave this one. By doing that, he'll start off like this, and then we're actually going to adjust the animation so that it matches. Um, we're also going to do uh, something else where we essentially have a trigger between his walking and running um, by simply pressing left shift. So here we can just set that up. Left shift. When it's pressed and release, we want to affect this to max walk speed. Or set, sorry. So set max walk speed. When it's pressed, we want it to bump up around 400 because it's a little bit slower than the other one. And then when it's released, make it 200. Make sure these targets are connected to your character movement, otherwise you'll get that error that you saw there. So now we have him walking. When we press shift, he starts running. When we let go of shift, he starts walking again. Alright, now let's adjust the animation. Um, you can do this easily by going to the, your animation blueprint. Um, if, it, if you're using this uh, new Unreal um, it's located in Mannequin, Animations, and then Third Person Anim Blueprint. Otherwise, if you have your own, go ahead and just open that up. Go over to the Animations tab, and we're going to modify this uh, walking blend space. It's, um, it blends between an idle standing pose to a full running. We're going to pump this up to about 500 here. Press Apply Parameter so that there's more room. And the first one that we're going to do over here is we're going to set the walking speed up to 200 and then set the running speed to the max 500. By doing that, <coughs> we'll essentially have, uh, because the, um, the default that we have for the max walk speed that we set in the third person um, the third person character movement we have it at 200 so it's going to be literally playing this animation here nice walking pace and we have the running one set at, uh, at 400 so it's actually going to be playing somewhere around here which I think is a good run besides uh, other than that we can leave some more speed if we decide to do a sprint later on so that's why I set it like this Let's go ahead and test that out. Right, he's walking around, and then when you press shift, he begins running. So 
I think that part's good. Now, um, let's open up the blueprint again and go to the skeletons tab because we need to add a couple sockets to get this thing to work. Um, first socket <clears throat> that we need to add are the feet. Actually, we need to add a total of four sockets um, to get the foot eye case to work. We need to add for the foot and for the knees because the foot is going to be considered our effector to where we, if we place the um, the effector, let's say here, on this cross point, the foot is going to move to that point, and then we want the bend, uh, the joint where it's going to bend at to be the knees. So we're going to use those sockets simply to get the location of those parts of of the body. So for the right foot, add socket, right foot socket. Uh, and for the left foot, we do left foot socket. I noticed that for this character, the calves are basically where the knee levels are, so we're going to add sockets there. So this is the left knee socket and the right knee socket. Oh no, what's that? Okay. Okay, left and right knee sockets. Alright, so we have our sockets. I believe this is all for the actual setup of our thing. Uh, from here on out, we're, uh, we're going to be using the blueprints. And... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.